it's Inktober day one. If you're new here, hi, I'm Claude. And if you've been here for a while, hi, I'm back. <laughs> I wish I could give you a good reason why I stopped uploading videos, but uh, I don't really have one, um, except it being 2020. I really didn't plan on this YouTube break to be this long, but I am feeling a whole lot better now and I am super excited about Inktober. So, uh, oh, and Yes, I am aware of the whole Jake Parker situation. I don't see why they should stop me from doing Inktober. And if you think that I shouldn't and I'm a terrible person because I'm still doing it, then no. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I need to get going now. To the desk. I already filmed a video yesterday. It was supposed to be my, yay, I'm back on YouTube and I'm gonna do Inktober video, uh, but I failed miserably. Uh, yeah, let me first set you up first. Let me first set you up first. I want to do things a bit differently this Inktober. I'm not gonna upload every day, except for this video. Uh, I am currently sitting at my desk and editing this video so I can upload it on the first. But every other video will be... Yeah, I don't have a schedule exactly. So this means that I probably upload every couple of days and compile several Inktober pieces in one video. I'm also gonna try to include a bit more of my sketching. As you saw with this one, I still had a Procreate sketch that I printed out, but by the end it's gonna look a bit differently and I don't want to rely too much on my digital sketches. I still like to start off with them just because it's a whole lot easier to change up things like the composition and stuff. But the only thing that I'm gonna trace is the base and then sketch out everything else with a pencil on paper. So I hope that this is gonna be a bit more interesting to watch. Um, I know that last year a couple of people asked me to show a bit more of my sketching process and I didn't really have time for that because I was focusing on just getting a video out every day. But now that I'm gonna take it easy on the editing and video part of Inktober, I hope that this will give me a bit more space to make my videos more interesting. I find it rather difficult to think about everything that I need and want to put in my video like I just now realized that I didn't even talk about uh, what supplies I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna focus every day on something else, whether it's sketching or talking about my supplies. So when I then put the footage of several days into one video, maybe I'm gonna actually manage to have one proper YouTube video. <laughs> okay, now I have all of this youtube stuff out of the way. I really enjoyed this drawing. 
Um, it's a bit unfortunate that I started my day with a headache, so it took me quite a bit to get into it, but I think around the halfway point when I started to draw the fishes and give them a bit more details, that's when I started to feel better and I could enjoy myself. Overall, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I used several different pens. I started off using a Pentel pen, it's called um, Tradicio Stylo, I think. I'm gonna talk a bit more about it in my future videos. Uh, I really enjoy this pen, but for some reason the ink started to spread a bit. And I think it's because I erased quite a bit, so I might have damaged the paper too much and that's why it started to spread. Because I didn't have the same issue with other pens. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind whenever I'm gonna use this pen. But overall, I didn't struggle a whole lot with this. Um, I'm pretty happy that this year I'm gonna be using just pens and I'm not gonna have to spend half of October to figure out what supplies I'm gonna be using like last year. And yeah, I think this was a pretty good day one of Inktober and now I only need to finish this video and get it out so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put on some nice music to finish this video off. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay safe, take care and see you soon. Bye! I accidentally sizzled off my eyelashes, they are a whole lot shorter on this side than on this non-sizzled side. Oh, 2020, you're the gift that never stops giving. Can I even blame 2020 for me burning off my eyelashes? Yeah, yeah I guess I can. <laughs>